Okay, in this video I'm just going to take a look at how to make a header or change the header for your website. Now, as I've pointed out in my article on my site webdesigndublin.org, you can do this a number of ways, but what I recommend is that you get a free software program from paint.net. You'll see it on the screen here. There are a whole lot of tutorials. Just do a search for paint.net software and download it. You will then, and the software looks like this. Um, we'll have a look at that now in a minute. First thing you need to do then in relation to your header is, if we take a look at the default WordPress theme, this is WordPress 2010, I think. And you will see that the header, which comes uh, as a default is any of these images here but the important and critical thing is the size you need just to check that whatever header you make is going to be the correct size we see here that you can upload a custom header I've already done that for this particular site um, but you need a header of 940 by 198 whatever yeah just have a look on the left hand side here this button here will take you to the header section and this allows you then to upload your own image so the default image with WordPress uh, 2010 or 2011 may be one of these images we want to put in something more appropriate so we're going to pretend they're making a header now for say a flower shop so we go to paint.net um, we'll just make a note of 940 by 198 we go to paint.net and we fire that up Okay, this is the paint.net software that you can download for free from the internet. I know I need a header of, uh, I think it's 940 by 198. So I just create a new uh, a new file and I make sure that the dimensions are correct. So the width has to be 940. And the height, I think, is 198. I'll just press OK. Okay, this is going to be our new header. It's going to be a JPEG image or a PNG image that we save and then upload to our site. So I come over here then to the tool thing and we'll just choose text and we'll say we're going to call it, you know, Mary's Flower Shop. Mary's Flower Shop. Uh, Carrie line or whatever. And you can make the text bigger, you can change the color and so on and so forth. Uh, you can do all sorts of stuff. You need just to play around with this yourself. I'm just going to center it there like that. Okay. So you can just put in text, you can put in images and so on. I have some images here. I'll just pull them up. And you'll see here, I am going to drag up a picture of the bunch of flowers. Again, it's just a question of playing around with it and it won't take you very long to learn how to do it. It's pretty straightforward. If I could find that other second photograph, where did I put it? Um, yeah, it's in here. Just drag up the photograph, add layer, drag it across. And then I'm going to stick in a photograph also of a telephone. Encouraging people to call Mary's flower shop. Now, if I actually made this the right size and re-edited it and so on, I could put in the phone number there and so on. I'm not going to bother doing that for now. So you simply go up here then to the top. And we need just to save that image. It's going to be an image as... Mary's Flower Shop header. And I'm going to save it, not as a PDN, but I'm going to save it as a JPEG. I'm going to save it in that file. And that's it. That's our new header. Now, if we come back to this site here, we'll just take a look at it. It's actually a site of mine called Solicitors Dublin. We'll just go back into the dashboard. 
and we will just pretend that it's Mary's uh, flower shop. We go on to header. We are now going to upload the new header that we've created. And I need to find that in this folder. Mary's flower shop. Okay, here's the header we've just created. I'm going to click on that and open it and upload. This is our new header and we can visit the site to take a look. And it's Mary's Flower Shop Carrigal Lane. Obviously this would all change. I'll change this back now, but just for the purpose of this example, gives you a good idea of how easily you can change your header and uh, you can edit yourself. You need to play around with the software though, the paint.net software. It's very, very useful and uh, it's completely free. Now there is a little bit of a learning curve, not too much. You should play around with it because it gives you all sorts of uh, opportunities to change your header from time to time. Uh, put in your contact details, put in your address, put in whatever you want. Um, so I hope you get cracking on making your own or creating your own header and don't be uh, beholden or uh, too dependent on graphic designers and so on because this stuff isn't all that difficult.